mushrooms. Mushrooms. I mean, how sexy. Shrooms, ladies and gentlemen. Look at that. How sexy Zooming is in. this? So excited, you guys. We're going to go visit our friend Charles Chesseter of Mother Mushrooms. <laughs> but it should be fine. We'll put bubbles on. We'll put bubbles on. See how much taller he is. Yeah, 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 yeah. It's... That's why I usually <laughs> climb up him. I mean, <laughs> oh, there's a jump. <laughs> <laughs> and off you go. <laughs> Look what I found. You can't grow that in no lab. <laughs> there we go. Okay. <laughs> She's dizzy. That's how I get up there. There's not much to look at right now. So... The structure is just a shelter logic carport on a uh, wooden frame. We're going to line the base with. Uh, we're going to like like rake this out so it's flat, and then lay down pond liner, pond liner, and the pond liner will create kind of a waterproof membrane so that uh, you know the water doesn't just drip down. It'll help keep contamination at bay air conditioning unit. The high pressure misting pump will sit on the bottom. The hot water recirculation, the water recirculation pump will be at the air intake and then also at the exhaust at the other end. There will be another carport actually draped over this. There will be a layer of insulation, two inch styrofoam R6 insulation that will line the exterior of this all the way down. And then it will... The truth is I don't understand half of the things he says, but I let him rattle on with his process because it's really quite impressive. This guy seems to know his shit. blocks a week. Each sawdust block should produce at least two pounds per block. So hopefully from a space like this, we can get 600 pounds a week. Here we go. Going in, we're going in. Oh, wow. Just uh, cleaned on the inside. Oh, nice. So uh, what we've got over here, we got the ventilation system. This uh, pulls the exhaust out, and then we've got the air recirculation system. Got a fan running on the bottom. Once this place is completely full, we'll bump it up to 10 air exchanges per hour. But now that we're only about a third full, I keep it at about you know five air exchanges an hour. Once this humidity sensor reads at 100%, then the humidity uh, controller turns off the high pressure misting system and the pump will turn off. So this uh, sensor is placed right in front of this fan. So this fan's job is to not only pull air from the back end over here, it's also meant to mix and even out and give an accurate portrayal of what the average humidity and average temperature is in this space. Here we've got our new blocks that were just brought in. These are uh, lines main blocks that were brought in on Monday and they're just starting to show Primoria. These little uh, little bumpies right here. That's Primoria. That's the uh, the beginning of mushrooms uh, forming. These are lion's mane mushrooms. Well, they kind of look like stuffed animals so you can pet them. Oh, and these delicious oyster mushrooms. Not to mention, shiitake mushrooms. These are super delicious, you guys. You gotta try these fresh. You usually get them dried in the stores, but way better when they're fresh. Oh my God. Is this from outer space? Nah, these are reishi mushrooms. Check them out. We'll be able to produce uh, between, uh, this will produce about half a pound of mushrooms and then all these other ones will produce around, uh, you know, one and a half to two and a half pounds of mushrooms. If you want ready to fruit, oyster mushrooms, shiitake, lion's mane, black pearl oyster block, come to me, hit me up, slide into my DMs. <laughs> ladies, ladies and, and gentlemen, gentlemen who want mushrooms. and gentlemen who want mushrooms. <laughs> so if we're bringing in 400 blocks a week, we should be able to produce upwards of around 800 pounds a week out of this 400 square foot space. That gives us a metric as far as like how like how much is conceivably 
how much is conceivable in this small of a profile of the space. The cost of production on Maui, like a lot of it comes from the square footage of your of your space. How much can we produce in the smallest profile of, uh, of space? And this this is this is about as much as you can do in as little of the space as possible. And it's been really productive. I'm really proud of it. It is the single biggest cost in mushroom farming, particularly for shiitake, is the cost of space. Uh, like, <laughs> which she's is, eating bushes on the way down. <laughs> the hell, Madam Donut? Feed yourself before you come here. <laughs> the real question is, what is Charles doing with that vacuum cleaner attachment? I never did find out. Four shiitake blocks per square foot. Uh, if we find somebody who has like a 10 acre property and they and, and they want to like put up more living spaces yeah. on their property, but they don't actually, it's it, because farming is hard. They yeah. don't really want to farm. Right. They do an exchange where like we incubate blocks. Once you actually have income as a farmer, that opens up different possibilities for different landowners. Like say if you have ag zone property for every two continuous acres and $35,000 a year worth of like taxable farm income you get, you can put up another living space, which increases the value of their property by right. hundreds of thousands of dollars. If we could like sign something that says like a, a contract that says like for every block we take on your property and is fully incubated for 12 weeks and we take off, we will pay you, you know, the difference of, we'll, we'll pay you a dollar for each one of those blocks. And they don't have to do anything. Right. They just have a shipping container that we fill up and we empty and that we have access to. And they, they don't have to do anything. We do all the work and then they get the, they get the farm income. So if you know anyone, like go to the farmer's market, support local farmers. Mm -hmm. If you're buying any mushrooms on the island of Maui, at a farmer's market, you're buying my mushrooms. That's a great way to support me. Just get yeah. out there, buy the mushrooms, get some vegan dicks and stick them in your mouth. Love support vegan dicks. Vegan dick. Support <laughs> vegan dicks and vegan, vegan dick farmers. <laughs> this, this is my, yeah, we want to get you to buy mushrooms no matter what, what it takes. You want to buy yeah, mushrooms. yeah, if we have to pimp Charles out, that's just that what we've got thing. to do. <laughs> Support Charles. Thank you guys. <laughs> Have a good night and we'll see you next week. Aloha. Wow. Oh, fantastic. Good lord. <laughs>